Hello, Sally here from Dotty B. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. Uh, I'm going to be working on my um, Roxy's Journal of Stitchery. Um, we've just had the final prompt, which is um, sentimental items. Um, so a lot of, I've, I feel as though I've kind of put some of my sentimental items on already. Um, the, the little dog and the key that I've had for a long time, the dice and I've been, so I've, I've done quite a lot already. So what I've, I've done is um, I had a little box of treasures um, that um, I, I pulled together when we were doing our mood boards. And so I've emptied them all out. Um, they seem to have grown rather than been used up on this project for some reason. I've kind of added to them. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick through and um, start adding things now because we can just um, fill in whatever gaps we want because this is the last prompt. So um, we're on the home run really. So I've got my little spoon, which I, I have sh I think I've shown you before. And um, that's going to go on. Um, this is, I think it's, um, it's some kind of shell, mother of pearl, something like that. Um, it, it feels cold, so it's definitely more than plastic. So, and it, it does look quite old. I think it's like maybe a mustard spoon or something. I don't, I don't know. Um, I'm actually going to attach it that way round rather than up, just because um, it just seems a bit shinier that way. Um, I like the um, the pattern, so I'm going to um, actually attach attach it upside down rather than that way. So, um, yes, I'm going to attach that today or I'm going to leave room to attach it I'm, I'm so clumsy sometimes that um, I don't want to break it it's just so fragile but um, I think I'm going to put it somewhere here anyway um, I've got either here sorry I've got either here or possibly I don't know if there's enough room there to be honest but um, no I think I'm going to pop it there I'd already had in mind there so what I'm going to do is when I sew it on um, I'm going to um, stitch round with some decorative stitching. So that's one of the things that I've got. I'm just going to pop that to one side because like I say, I don't want to either lose it or break it. So um, I've got a few spaces left and I'm just going to go through and pop that out of the way. A few of my treasures and see what I can pop in. Um, this is a new addition. This I, I only got this, um, I think it was last week or the week before, um, a set of glass buttons and they're beautiful. They're smooth on the top. But underneath they're all carved or yeah i don't know how it would have the perhaps machine machine made i don't know but they are they are quite odd and it is a glass button so um i thought i'd i'm going to add that um and then i've got um these little buttons here um they've all got like a little shank on them um and i'm going to pop those on as well they're um i think i mentioned that they are going to go at the top, let me just take that button back off. Um, at the top of my piece, um, I'm going to have I've folded over the top of my piece so that I can put a rod through. So I'm going to just put some stitches in here, just to um, I just want to put some decorative stitching around this, just 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 around here. So I want to do that before I tie that down. So I'm going to do that today, and then um, stitch that down so that I can get a rod in when I've actually finished. So um, I think I'm going to start here anyway. And then show you what I'm going to do with the, um, the these little buttons. Oh, hang on, I can't get hold of them. These little buttons, I'm just going to um, sew onto the lace, so they kind of dangle down and um, kind of move a little bit. Right, so decorative stitching for up here. So I've got a little bit of um, a peach. Um, I think it's a perle. I, that's how I, it was bought. I don't know. Um, it was it wasn't new when I bought it, so. Um, that's about all I can tell you, it's a perle. Um, and I have lost my needle somewhere along the way. Let me grab one from this project. Um, knot it up. Right, 
just going to pop my tray of bits and bobs up there. So I'm just going to do a little decorative stitching. So what I might do is, um, right, let's do some, uh, should we do some pistol stitches? Let's, I'm just going to pop all that bit out of the way. I've gone and caught my thread. Right. It's going to have to go out the way as well. Okay. So, let's do some pistol stitches from the top of the um, Suffolk puff and just out a little bit. I'm just wrapping it round twice. I think that's what I did on the first one. I don't want them massive. I also need to think about backing fabric as well because I think I'm going to back this just to give it a little bit of um, stability. I'm just at the moment just sewing on a single piece of fabric and I think it will just go floppy with the weight of everything that I've um, I've put on the piece. I just need to make it a little bit stronger so I'm going to find some, uh, I think I may have some felt that I can use to see if I've got enough. And the last one. Okay, let's just finish that off. And we're done. A little bit. Let's pop it back the right way and see how it looks. Yep, that's fine. Okay, so I think that's a, that's about all I'm all the stitching I'm doing on there, apart from just a little bit underneath here, which I'm going to do. Um, I think I'm going to probably do it in the same colour actually. So because um, I'm going to be making a channel here for my pole, um, I'm going to go through both fabrics. I'm just, I'm just doing a little, um, uh, I think I'm going to do a back, just a back stitch, I think, just along here. So I'm going to start it about here. So I want room for the, the pole to go through, the, um, the dowel to go through. It's probably, it's probably about the same diameter as this, probably a little bit bigger actually, but um, I'll be able to get through that. So I'm just going to um, 
do a little back stitch, I think, just down here. I don't want to draw away too much from um, the writing that I've already put on. And that's that's quite busy as it is with the couching and the two, the two colours that I've used. So I think um, this will just add a little bit but not too much. How are you all today anyway? I hope you're all well and finding some time to stitch. I must say I've not done any stitch, I've not done any sewing for a couple of days. Um, just been, I don't know what I've been busy with, just work and um, whatnot, but um, it's all winding down now anyway for Christmas. But, um, busy trying to um, sort out everything for Christmas. We've got family coming around to us this year. Went around to my son's last year, but um, they're all coming to us this year, so that would be nice. But it does mean that um, I have to think, right, what's everybody eating? So I've ordered the turkey, I've ordered a ham, I've ordered goodies, I'm sure I'll forget something, but there's so much food at this time of year, isn't it? That isn't there that um, you don't miss whatever you forget. Right, I think that will that will do. So that's, yeah, just a little bit of an underline, really, just to give it a little bit. Um, a bit of interest just there. Okay, what I will also do is um, just stitch probably with um, just a white thread. I'll just stitch across and just to tie the rest of it down when I get the pot, when I get my dowel sorted out, just to give it, just so that this bit isn't it isn't flapping around too much. So let's do the next bit. I think we'll work down, so we'll do the buttons next. So as I said, I've got these little buttons here with a little the little shank on them. So that one's um, that one's like a greyish colour. I've got a a blue, which is very very pretty, lovely blue. Um, I've got a white one. Um, I've got a that's kind of like a yellowy, goldy coloured one. Um, have I got any more? Have I just got the four. Oh, I've got this one here. I don't know whether you can see this one. This one's red, and it's got like little. It's like a, almost like a flowery type thing. It's got little spiky bits on it. So I've got that one. That will probably go. I think I'll put that one in the centre. Because I've only got one of those. I think that that is. I can't see any more. Right. So we've got five. So I think that's probably perfect actually. So I'm going to put one in the centre, the red one in the centre, and then we'll have the, we've got a gold, um, and we've got the white, we've got a grey, and we've got the blue. I think I'm going to swap those two over actually because that might go with the blue, the blue flower. So I'm going to have them like that. So let's get some more thread. Um, I'm going to stitch these with a, a white, um, I'm just looking for my white, I think I may have put it away, I'll just find another one. Um, I've got a drawer full of threads, they are sorted into shades but um, I can't find the one that I was using. Oh that one will be fine. I, um, I saw, I can't remember where I saw it, I saw a tip on um, another YouTube channel and um, someone was saying that their thread always 
pull um, pokers up and um, knots and whatnot when you're sewing with it. And somebody wrote on the comments that um, if you use your thread, how it comes off your reel, then it shouldn't pull. So I've been, I've, I have been trying it, and I I must say I'm I, I am seeing less knots and um, and whatnot when when I'm sewing. So yeah, that's a really good tip. Use as as you use your cut thread. And it, I think it goes with all threads on a reel, so purlé and stuff like that. If you use it as you would get it off your reel that way, rather than that way, thread your needle that way, thread your needle that way, and use it that like that. Um, it won't um, it won't knot up as much. So um, it was a really good tip. I'm trying to remember to do it all the time, to see if it does make a difference, and it does seem to be making a difference. So, um, yeah. Thank you to whoever did that, but I, I don't know. I, I think it, I can't even remember what video it, it was on that I saw it. It could have been a Roxy one, but I don't know. But, um, yes, it's a really good tip. So anyway, I'm going to go through both um, pieces of fabric again. Um, I don't see why I should yeah I think that'd be fine so I'm just going to sew these on with a little you can't actually see the white the white thread so I do love these little pretty buttons with the shanks on, but um, when, you, when you're sewing flat, um, sometimes they're hard, they're hard to attach because they, they won't lie flat. But I thought, oh, it'd be ideal up here because I want them to kind of move around and, dang, and dangle down a little bit. So just to give it a little bit of um, movement. So yeah, uh, I'm really pleased. Um, these, these are a new addition to my little treasure tin because I only found these um, I don't think it was last, I think it was the week before last. Um, I was in the um, little antique shop where I um, I sell my bits and bobs, and um, there's a lady in there who had them on her stand. And I said, oh, let me have a look at them. And I was just gonna, I was said to her, oh, I only want the these ones. And then I started delving into the packet. It was quite a big packet um, of buttons um, that she had. And oh, there was loads of lovely little glass buttons. So I said, no, I'm going to have the whole lot. So um, yeah, I bought more buttons. I mean, if you could see how many buttons I have actually got anyway, um, you think it was crazy. Like my husband thinks I'm crazy for buying all these buttons, but um, sometimes you just need new buttons, don't you? I think I've done that off center. I've just realized what I've done. That is not central I, th I was thinking that was central but it's not that is central isn't it um right okay mm -hmm. no i'm going to take it off i've done it wrong um sorry about this sometimes things sometimes it doesn't matter sometimes it does but being as this is I've been working on this for such a long time. I want it right. Sometimes I don't mind a little bit of higgledy piggledy, but um, so it's there. That's the center of my piece, isn't it? I don't know. Right, oh, this is going to be quite hard actually sewing into this, isn't it? Because I'm, only, I'm going to be sewing into the, um, hmm. Okay, we'll, we'll give it a go. That's it. I'm just going to do a few just to get it, um, get the thread anchored first of all. I could probably do with a thicker thread actually, that might be better. Um, let's see how we go. Right, start again. Can't believe we're coming to the end of this a six month um project it's um 
Oh, so it just all seems to have come together really quickly. And I was watching um, the videos that the um, Rachel and Sarah put out this week and saying that they've got a new project planned for the new year. So that'll be interesting to, um, to hear what that is. I think they're going to um, I think they're going to post next week. They say next week, maybe, just say it, tell us what it is. So that'll be something nice to look forward to. Yeah, I think that's on. Right. I have slightly gone over to one side just because there's not much fabric to sew into right in the middle. But I think that will be okay. Let's have a look, see how we look now. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so um, let's get the next one on. So the next, so I'm going to have, well, I suppose <laughs> I know where I'm going because I can follow the lines now, can't I? But that will probably look good, won't it? Yeah. I mean, maybe I should have done six and gone in between. Did I say this side? Did I say the white one? White and then grey, yellow and golden blue, wasn't it? Yes, so it's this one. So next. So again, I'm just going to go over, I've just gone over to one side slightly just to give it a little bit of um, fabric to hold on to. And I'm catching the lace at the top as well. Okay. flat um, grey There we go. I'm just about to lose my thread. There we go. Just drop something on the floor. I think it's just some thread. Let's pop that away. My elbow nudged it. Right. Um, the next one will be somewhere here. Is that too high? No, that'd be fine. Um, so we're going for the goldy coloured one.
place that one down. Hope the video is a little bit brighter than it was the other day. Um, it's still a dull day, but it's not as dull as it was the other day. I think it has been raining. The ground looks very wet, but um, it seems to have stopped at the moment. But it's just a, a typical early winter winter day. Not nothing really. Just damp and a bit cold. That's all today. All right, next one is here. Something seems to have been tangled up in that one. What's going on? There we go. There. I do love the blue one. When it's actually hung up it should they just hang it down a little bit so yeah i quite like this yeah. okay so that's that bit done right i've got quite a lot of space here so i thought i might do some um decorative stitching probably in the, these four little bits kind of call for some um stitches i think what stitches to do okay so i'm just going to pick a color and stitch i think start stitching um so we've got a little quite a lot of blue there already i'm not going to do blue um so i have got this that's quite a nice bluey green color better tape on it rid of that it's very fine wool uh, wool and not oh 85% wool 15% nylon for reinforcing a minute so it's probably for like darning and stuff like that darning wool maybe but it's a lovely color it's more green actually than blue I think so I could do something with that so it's a little bit off Let's see what we can do. I might need another needle because this is, eye is a little bit too small. Yeah, it's too small. Let's just find a little larger needle. So I've got some yellow on that. That would be nice as well. Oh dear. Let's use the yellow, being as it's all threaded up anyway. Okay. So, some stitches. Right, I am going to do... I'm going to go that way. I'm going to go along the line. So I tell you what I'm going to do. I've got my friction pen, and I am. Um, I might not need it actually. Um, yeah, I will. I will. I'm going to do a little bit of a wave. It's not working. Just to give me a guide so i'm going to go along again just a a back stitch do i go underneath that i think i might actually let me just um right so i'm going to start off with a back stitch and i will decorate inside the little the little waves
so the, the, the yarn that I'm using is um, a I don't know what that says and something Enco I don't know it looks like there's a letter missing which it's I think it's just oh it says mending actually mending wool so this is probably a darning wool too although it looks a little bit thicker than the other one for some reason I thought it was a tapestry wool but um the only problem with um, all these little attachments that you put on everything gets tangled up so I will probably do this video well obviously and I will do another video I think um, for this project I think and then I think that will probably be it so what I'll do is I'll do I'll start um, things with this video and then I will come back and show you what I did and finish off some more things I'll show you how I've hung it and then I think that'll be it for this one this project so I'll be sad to um, I'll be sad I'm gonna be sad to finish it to be honest I've really really enjoyed it this is my first um, Roxy project that I've done. Um, I've, only, I've only been filming my projects for, I think it's about, it's coming up for probably 10 weeks now, so about two and a half months. So I've not been, although I've been stitching all my life, I've not, since I can remember, since I was a small child, I remember asking my mum for a needle and thread to mend my doll's clothes and that's where it started with little doll's clothes and then I discovered embroidery and just went on from there really. I went through phases like you do, you go through, I went through my embroidery stage and then um, I found cross stitch so I went through years of just doing cross stitch and the counter cross stitch kits and whatnot but didn't find it very creative because all I was doing was following someone else's patterns and I, I did I did do my own patterns as well but um, and I did enjoy doing the counter cross stitch but then um, came back to embroidery and I've just been especially since lockdown when we had a lot of time on our hands and that's when I think it really I really, you know, delved back into it and started, you know, started it again. Doing it, as I try to sew every day. I don't sew every day, but I try to do as much, you know, whenever I can. But only a couple of days will go by. If I don't sew one day, then it's usually sewing the next day. I've got several projects on the go. Um, This, this obviously this one I've got my seasons that I'm doing I've just started winter on that one um, I've got my fabric journal that um, I'm ready to do the next project on that one um, but I just haven't got the time at the moment with trying to finish this one um, I've also got a couple more projects I'm going to well I'm going to see what um, the Roxy project is for next year hopefully do that and I've got another project which is a calendar project so that's a, a picture a month um, it, and that's following along with um, oh vintage oh my mind's gone blank my mind has gone blank I can't remember but some um, I can't remember so there's a cut I'm, I'm doing a calendar project as well next year but um, my own project, my next own project will be um, doing another page in my journal. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I bought a stash of um, iron-on transfers from the 
thirties, I think it is. Um, and there's some lovely designs in there, so I'm going to pick one of those and do and do one of those. Well, I'll probably do loads, but um, for now, I will do just one and see how it goes. Um, so that'll be my next project on my journal, um, just when I get the chance to do it. So hopefully not too long, but um, all right, let's use this one now. So in the little curves, I think I'm going to do some little stars. Or shall I do like a like a um, yes. Let's do a star. There we go. Put in here. This is where we really get to do the embroidery bits, I suppose. Um, and the, the slow stitching, a lot of this has been attaching. There has been a lot of stitching, obviously, but um, there's been a lot of attaching on these as well. So um, it's nice just to um, concentrate on a little bit of stitching. Which I've been, I've not been doing very much of that on, on this. I've kind of con just concentrated on attaching the, the prompts, I suppose, and that is stitching, stitching the prompts. Um, but not. I've, I thought I, what I would do was wait until we'd had all the prompts before I start filling in um, with too much stitchery. I just wasn't sure how much room all the prompts were going to take, so um, I, I didn't want to run out of space. So when I chose this, when I chose this fabric, I thought, "Oh, that's massive! How am I ever going to fill it?" Um, but yeah, fill it you do. <laughs> it um, fills up really quickly once you get going. just amazing how we've all been given the same prompts but all our work is just completely different and we've all got our own ideas and we've all got our own little trinkets that we put on and yeah so what everyone's doing is just amazing and does not look like a star too much I don't know what I've done there it's a little bit off okay and finally another one here. There we go. Right, and then I'm going to do some French knots as well on this. In another colour. 
Right, so that's two walls. So I'm going to go for um, something different. Now, let me think. A gold would be nice, actually, wouldn't it? I've got that. I don't know where that colour is, the colour that I use for that. Um, I think this one will be okay. I haven't used this one yet on this piece. I didn't want to go into too many more colours, but it is kind of like the same shade as, especially as this and this. I, although it's a different thread, but um, it'll be fine. Let's go. I think this is is a this is a crochet cotton, forty. Um, color. It's an old one. I don't know whether they still do them or not. The color is inside there. I can't remember. What's that say? F five one three. But um, I just picked them up as a a job lot of old ones. to bulk out my little stash of threads. Right, so on here, on the other side, I think I'm going to do three French knots. So I'll start in the middle. I'm going round three times. I'm just um, I'm going to do this um, wherever there's gaps now I'm just going to be filling in with either little trinkets or stitches um, what I did before I came on on camera um, just because sometimes my mind goes blank what shall I do I just did a little spent 10 minutes just drawing some stitches out that I wanted to use so um, just to give me prompts and ideas of little, um, so this is the one that I'm doing at the moment. And sometimes it's easier to just get, get some things on and then you're not thinking, right, oh, what am I doing? You can just, you know, pick and choose which ones you want to do for what space. So it's just some ideas. I probably won't use all of them, but I just thought, oh, there's some. I just went on Pinterest um, and just looked at um, some embroidery designs and just picked out tiny little things um, so um, that I can I can pop on my work and I, I can do it without kind of thinking too much about what I'm going to do so I've got it all, all written down already Oops. Did I say three or four? I think I said three, didn't I? Yeah, I do like those colours together, they look nice. I've done this one. In fact, I'm going to just leave this to one side now because you can you can see what I'm doing here. Let me just um, just undo that. I'll just take the needle off that off, and I'll come back to that and finish that off in a little while. So, what else? What else am I going to do? So, um, I'm going to stitch on some more some more trinkets. 
some treasures and sentimental bits and bobs that I've got. This is, um, let's see, I've used one of those already and I've used some of those, so I don't think I'm going to use any more of those. Um, but I've got lots of little pretty flowers still to use, flower buttons. I've got some unusual buttons that I've not used yet either, so I may, in, yes, in the little gaps, I'm going to pop some some of my little treasures and stuff. So this one here, I love this button, um, it's like a hexagon shape, but um, little holes are tiny in the middle. So I think it's, um, I don't know whether... I don't know whether it's a plastic or not, I can't really tell. But um, yeah, so I'm going to fill a little hole with that. So let's use this thread here. I think pink would look nice because that's got a little bit of pinky. Yeah, let's try a little bit of pinky peach actually. Um, I've got this darker one here. Let's try that. over there so I, I won't be leaving any gaps on my piece all of them will be filled in with little bits and bobs I'm doing a little, oh, sorry, I know you can't see it because my thumb's in the way, but I'm just trying to hold it on one side, get it held on, then I'll, I'll let go. Because the holes are so small, <laughs> it's difficult to get through it. There you can see, I'm just doing a little cross on this one. once more I'm getting tangled in with that other thread oh no it's okay right I'm not sure what happened there because I've got a long I don't know what happened there didn't quite go through all the way Right. There, so um, it's another little gap filled. What I might do. Let's just go round. A little um, running stitch, I think. Oops, I've lost my thread. Just little small stitches all the way around. 
like it's framing it. It doesn't feel like it's knotted off properly. Let me try it one more time. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look how that looks. Yeah. Happy with that? There we go. So just doing little things like that. Um, let's see what else we've got. Got um, quite like that little bird. And a little bird go. Somewhere there, maybe. That little gap there. Yep, that will be lovely. Um, let's take that off. Do I do, yeah, just a white, I think. <clears throat> um, let's see. Mm. No, it's not big enough. This again will be a little um, lo a loose dangly charm. I'm not going to tie, I'm only just doing the loop. I'm not going to tie the rest of him down. I'm also going to do here because this is kind of looks a little bit um, disjointed I'm going to do some um, running stitch um, around here just to kind of link my words up um, so when I, I kept looking at it and thinking I kind of need something just here just to just to link everything up um, and the problem is I can't remember what color I used that looks no that's too dark I'm not sure whether it's that or not. That looks too light. Too light, too dark. So do I use a different colour altogether? I just cannot remember what colour. I wonder if that will do. So that's a lighter colour, which it kind of blends in anyway. Um, or do I go for dark? That's quite near the colour, but no, it's not the same. Right, let's go for let's go for a light 
blue instead. So, a needle. And right. So what I'm going to do here, let me just get my pen. So I've got a guiding line, um, guiding line, guiding light. <laughs> I've got a guiding line. Right, um, so I'm going to go to about there. And then. It's going to go, that's a bit wonky. Somewhere up there, anyway. And I think I'm going to do dots or a straight line. I think I'm going to do a back stitch around. Let's see how that looks. So I'm just going to follow this line. It's fairly small. Ouch. Very small stitches. I think I've gone off oh, I central. Yeah, I think this is the right colour choice actually. Right, so I'm going to head over to, well, it has gone wonky, hasn't it? Oh, has it? It's gone a little bit wonky, never mind. It will be wonky, I think. Okay. There we go, let's get to the T. And see how it looks. Yeah, it's a bit wonky. Um, I probably, I'm going to do something else to it, I think. That's not quite right. Um, I, I'll probably put some more decorative stitching around it and whatnot, um, I think. But I will have a think about it. I could undo it, but, um, but I'm not going to. So I'm going to leave it there for today, I think. Um, I'm going to, yeah, so 
in the meantime, I'm going to um, do some more stitching and just work, just work through like I am doing, finding spaces and um, finding little bits and pieces to to pop in to the gaps. Uh, oh, look, I have got another one. Didn't see that. But uh, yeah, I've got um, got a little bit of um, Diamante um, thing. I might pop that on with a little. I'm going might put um, a little bit of lace, a lace bow, or well, I've got lace there. I don't know, so, some kind of bow. I think I'm going to pop pop onto the onto that little book, buckle thing. So I'm going to do that. But um, so what I'll do is I'm going to do some more decorative stitching um, using my book as a reference. Just where I find a gap, I'm going to you know just do a little bit of little bit of stitching and um, so I will do that while I'm away from camera and then next time I will come back show you what I've done and probably do a few more bits just to fill in a few more gaps um, and then show you how I'm going to attach or show you with it the, the the dowel rod attached and that will be it so probably one more episode left of this one so thank you so much for joining me and um, take care and I hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.